And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this later on over there for Nia Legends again. So we tried this yesterday, uh, it didn't go so well. We played against a couple control decks um, and didn't uh, win either of our two matches against our two control decks. So let's run it back. We didn't have our, our good run yesterday. Um, let's, you know, new day um, and uh, let's restart. I'm making one change since last time. We're going to try taking out Weatherlight for Domri. So we don't have any Ravnica Allegiance cards in this deck, in this main deck, sorry, except for Stomping Ground. So might as well throw one in there. So we got uh, we got a Domri in here. We'll see how it goes. So um, we're going to, you know, Weatherlight's a card that is near and dear to my heart because it's it's awesome. But it's not always good. And so we'll have have a Domri here instead. People in chat said that would, that's a change we should try. So we're going to try that change there. So let's run it back. Um, this was a donation deck. Um, I thought, you know, this is, of course, my deck, though. I, I thought about putting, like, um, the DD letters here next to Naya Legends with it being a donation deck up here in the corner. But um, this is a donation deck from somebody signing up for Quip. Um, if you're watching this later on YouTube, you can go down to the info panel. You can find my referral link with Quip, and I'm putting it here in the chat. It's a really, really nice electric toothbrush. Um, if you order um, a Quip toothbrush, you do get a free donation deck like this. You can your own deck, or if there's a deck uh, on the channel that you want me to play, um, so you get a bonus for signing up for Quip using my referral link. Um, so check it out. Um, we're doing since we got to ten. Quip referrals yesterday. We're doing a 12-hour stream on Thursday also to celebrate. So uh, even more uh, incentive to support my sponsors and help support me with that. Ooh, don donation request. That could be a thing. DR for donation request. That's not a bad one. Hey, Jeff. Thanks for the bits. All right, so let's get started. Let's uh, run back some Nia Legends here. And I hope it goes better than yesterday. Nia Legends. All right, and while we're doing this, I'm getting the Grixis discard list or uh, video up on YouTube. All right, what do we got? Gonna play first? Nah, never lucky. No white mana, but I I do like turn one land or elf quite a bit. Oh wait, we are first? Wait, did the opponent say we get to go first? What happened? I don't remember saying I would like to play first. Unless I unless I did that and don't remember it. All right, 26 land deck, get us the lands. We're gonna need a lot of lands. Need a lot more than that. Any viable Liliana deck at the moment? Um, we are gonna be playing, I think. I think we got a donation for... Yeah, we got a donation for Abzan Legends on Thursday that we're going to try out. Ooh, Goblin Gathering. That's cool. It'll be fun to try out. This is It's a Liliana deck. You can check this one out here. Hey, Jared. Yeah, I've, I've been here every single day. This is this is what I do every single day, Jared. Stream here. Um, so they shocked Squee. Unfortunately, we're gonna go ahead and, and just replay the Squee though. Temple Garden's a great draw. We get one more white star, so we can play Lyra. Um, besides that, we played a mono black zombies deck about two weeks ago now that ended up being pretty nice that uh had it liliana that had four lilianas in it we had a good league with the with it as well 
But yeah, get, glad to have you here, Jared. All right, Lyra time. Drew our white sources. Back to back there. Yeah, right? Poor Squee. Just getting getting so much electricity thrown out that thrown at that squee. Um I think I'm gonna just go ahead and Vivian and start looking for Shalai. You can't stop nature. Tajik and Shalai is a combo. Let's take the Aurelia though. Aurelia is pretty big. And it's gonna be even bigger with Lyra. King Charlemagne. This is a lot of goblins. Our opponent should probably attack with all the goblins, and whichever one I block, they shoot. They shoot me with. Whoa! Act of treason. All right. That's a card. That is a card. So we need, we're going to get more Shalai, Lyra. Urza's Ruinous Blast looks pretty awesome here against a bunch of goblins. Um, and probably want some coils against the Rekindling Phoenix deck. Ooh, Clarions. Yeah, give me those Clarions. All right. Uh, Huali can gain light. Let's see. Vivian, Vivian can come on out. That one can come on out. Um, Domri can come on out. Vivian does get to gain life, or sorry, Huali does get to gain life, but the other two modes of Huali aren't amazing. So it's only like if we have already already have a big creature in play. I'm gonna take out Huali. Um, other smaller creatures. Hmm. So with Clarion, Captain Lannery Storm and Shauna, not so great. I mean, neither is Squee at blocking X1s, but Squee keeps coming back, though. Take out the two Lannery Storms and one Shauna. All right, let's try this. Maybe I should be taking out a Druidic Vow. No, let's try this. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't like sideboarding out Huali either. It's pretty difficult too. Ugh, this would be a lot better as a Captain Lannery Storm. And I need that card too, but we need we need to get lands. It's a tough part about playing a deck full of amazing cards. You have to sideboard out something, and it's just like I don't want to sideboard out any of these. All of my cards are amazing. Play Shalai first <clears throat> before Lyra. So that they have, you know, like a couple you know, they could have like, you know, shock lightning strike that kills Lyra, but now they'll use shock lightning strike to kill Shalai, for example. Whoa. Destroy target land, creatures without flying can't block. I can still block with a creature with flying. Hopefully Night Legends does better today. Who knows? We're down a game. Who knows? Yeah, that, that should be game here. So we'll see game three. 
how we do. But you never know. Maybe they double act of treason or something crazy. I'm just seeing if we got any lands in the top three. Those were not lands. Because we want one more land so then we can start activating Shalai. Hmm. Thanks, Jeff. Excited for the stream Thursday? Yeah, it'll be a good one. Right now I have Abzan Legends and... Um, and an Azorius midrange deck. Our two donation decks for Thursday. Um, definitely going to play Grixis Discard and Naya Huatli again. Um, absolutely. Tomorrow we got donation decks all the way throughout the, the slots tomorrow. Whoops, not you. Let's see if there's anything else over here. All right, let's take out a Val for a Storm. Maybe even both Vals for two Storms. They're destroying our lands. I want these Storms. Hey, Crimson. Oop. Nope, wrong emote. I want the high emote. Welcome. Oh, come on, opponent. We we're going to play a good game. Boo. Things are going great. Having a fun day, stream day today here with a lot of good decks. Um, and I'm going to go see the Captain Marvel movie tonight. That's why we're doing an earlier stream day. That's why we're doing uh, we're doing three to seven today. So this is the last league of the day. You know, going pretty early. Um, Niv Missy, that's a cool name. We're playing against Niv Missy. That's a good name. So I'm gonna eat way too much popcorn. Nah, I don't like no scoops. I don't like when my opponent just scoops like that. I want to want to play Magic. Intrusion Point is launching launching the end of the month, but only with single player. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Probably, let's see. Absolutely one type of popcorn, maybe two types of popcorn. Depends on, you know, the the theater, if they have caramel popcorn or not. Like, does every theater, you know, it's, a, it's an AMC theater, dude. Like, they all have... Caramel popcorn also. This is going to be a tough game for us to win uh, this slow of a start. But if they just miss on lands all the time, you never know. No, don't kick counter my Grand Warlord Rada. I like my Grand Warlord Rada. Lame. And they have the reclamation. I I don't think we can win. Like I just don't even if these are all lands or I guess well they're not lands, so they're other spells. Like I just I don't think we can actually deal enough damage before Escanta kills us. Um so I mean I could concede right now. There's not really too much point in playing, and I don't know why why do they get rid of this other wilderness? That card's good. Yeah, I mean, we can't. We cannot win this. Alright, all these Cinder Vines. And Spyglass for us, can't I suppose? This is a tough matchup for us. 
Our deck just doesn't interact on a, on a level that's fast enough. Like, we're just not fast enough to, to beat their deck. We don't really interact with. With them or anything. Well, like Tristani. Probably take out Domri whenever we have so little creatures. Yeah, I had like three days. Um, yeah, yeah, Crimson, I am. Um, I had like three days that my power, my electricity was out. There was like a like a Sunday night it went out through like, and it didn't come back on till like Wednesday night. Um, so I, I wasn't able to stream there for like three days. This was like two weeks ago or so. Yeah, because it wasn't last week, so it was like the week before last. Probably. Oh, I didn't do anything. It, it was terrible. I hated it. Yeah, Urza's Blast only... Urza's Blast is good at getting rid of... Specifically... Specifically, Wilderness Reclamation, because it doesn't get rid of Ascanta, and their other main thing is Niv Mizzet, and it doesn't get rid of Niv Mizzet. They go like the Biogenic Ooze route; it could get that. But I think I like just having Spyglass in instead. Spyglass for like Ascanta, the Sunken Ruin, and then it, if we have Spyglass, our uh, Ruinous Blast will will kind of hurt us. Hmm. Fiery Cannonade, huh? Fiery Cannonade's real good against me here. I'm glad it didn't car and minus, which I was thinking about car and minus t minusing too. I think I like just having these. So I this name's the other flip side of Ascanta. And now every every spell they play is just going to deal two damage to them. Like they're they're just dead here. Like this game's over. The Spyglass wasn't so great though, but how this like thing the Spyglass just wasn't necessary. My newest friend. This game's over. Fate of the Elder Gods. All right, Fate of the Elder Gods. Let's check that out. Man, you are a busy guy these days. So many games. Crimson Coven. I still like Neuritis better, by the way. Still, for the record, still like Neuritis. Crimson. 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 Sometimes Coven. restoration. That's not that hard to say. Retribution. Uh. I guess I can Tajik. Oh, they're just gonna shiv and fire Tajik, and then fiery cannonade still. I mean, I also, I have Vivian that kills Niv. I don't have to be that worried about Niv. I can hear, though. Like, this is Trigger. Put him down to two. Cinder Vines kills him now. Jared! With that Twitch Prime sub for the fourth month. Missing some green-white value town. I know. I know. Me too. Uh, yeah, don't don't play modern, basically anymore. Um, but still here playing playing a bunch of standard though. Really like arena. Um, think arena is a whole lot of fun to play. Where's my Valley Town emote? There we go. Let's get some Valley Town emote here. 
here for Jared. Thanks, Jared. Um, so if I if I don't play Spyglass, because I don't know if Spyglass is really that good. I'm not sure if I want two. Like maybe the one. Cause I don't. It's not a card I'm gonna want to draw two. I could play a blast for try to get reclamation there, or biogenic ooze. I guess I could have one blast. But blast exiles my cinder vines and stuff too. Hmm. Maybe a shalai. Hmm. I don't know. I don't love any of these cards. I guess Tristani can add a, a, a clock in. Yeah, double Cinder Vines was, was awesome. That card's that card's real good. All right, played against Esper Control, won by decking them out. They had four unrevealed cards in hand and no win con revealed. If they had a Chromium, would they have played it? Um, wait. Let's see, you're asking, do I report them? Played? Wait, I don't, I don't understand what's going on. Just a second. Played against Esper Control, won by decking them out, right? They had four unrevealed cards in hand and no win con revealed. If they had a Chromium, they would have played it. For having... Oh, for having no win condition? No, that's... I would not report somebody for having no win condition. That's just... Just not really worth the time. A and B, you can play... You can play Paper Magic without a win condition. You're not, like, required to play a win condition in your deck. Yeah, I mean, if they have a Teferi, that's a win condition. You... Teferi's a win condition. Like, and I, I can't imagine an Esper Control deck that doesn't have Teferi. All right, so I only have four mana right now. I'm going to crack this to give more power to... No, no, no. I do not want to crack this to give more power to, to Captain Lannery. I don't want to do this. I don't want to click any of these. Ah, uh, stop. Z, Z, Z. Dang it. I wish you could... After I clicked that, I couldn't stop it. And, you know, I, I don't want to do it because of the, the mentor... Yeah, Gronk, yeah, you should build that deck. That deck is really strong. I recommend it. Hey, Jeff, keeping those bits coming. Thanks, Jeff. Moved you into the second spot on the cheer leaderboard. Where's my cheers? There they are. Yeah, each of those separately are goals for 12-hour streams. <laughs> yeah, not... Yeah. If we hit any of those, it's a 12-hour... We're doing a 12-hour stream. So we could have had... A that Lantern Storm could have been a 3-3 three, three if I wouldn't have messed up with, with that other thing, and then it would the Lantern Storm would not have died to the Shivan Fire. So if we lose this game, it's probably going to be because I cracked that treasure when I didn't want and or need to. Oh, I should have played the Land War Elf, though. Should have just played that thing. Sorry, I was, I was just talking about that. Yeah, Shinlak, go ahead. Yeah, I'll take a look at it. Cool, glad you... Glad you're liking it. So we had we had a real fast start there. Whoa, Crimson. Whoa. Crimson says, stop taking my bit lead. 
Wow. Wow. Y'all should be getting your emo favorite emo in the chat for some hype for Crimson here. Wow, that that shamrock. Dude, I'm getting extra popcorn now. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Crimson. Thank you. Wow. Yeah, Teferi can tuck itself. Yeah, that's that's a bit lead right there. That's gonna be a tough one to chase. Uh, not twenty one and zero. That'd be too good. Um. All right. So Shinlock. Is that Shinlock? Is that? All right. So we trimmed a campaign. Trimmed a land. And a nickel bolus. We got one sit out for one cry. Disdainful stroke, moment, and a couple carnage. Yeah, we can keep that. Um, so disdainful stroke main deck. Not not sold on that one. I don't I don't like that. I don't like that move. Um, there's just so many decks that Disdainful Stroke does nothing against, you know, like your the monocolored aggro decks that that can be tougher matchups as well. Um, and this, when you're playing cards like when you're playing like Disinformation Campaign and Thought Erasure and Discovery and all that kind of stuff, like you're you should be a tap out deck, um, and which also makes Dis Disdainful Stroke pretty awkward uh, to try to leave up mana for Disdain Disdainful Stroke and then have not have it for anything else. I mean, I think it's an okay sideboard card because if you play against a matchup where you really want it, uh, you know, then then go for it. But even against like Esper Control, oh, that was unfortunate with our twenty-six land deck drawing the three spells. Even against like Esper Control, um, after sideboard, the matchup is so much about uh, like duresses negates. Um, Thought Erasures and Thief of Sanity, and especially, you know, Thief of Sanity with all of that, the Disdainful Stroke doesn't actually counter all of those cards that, that are, like, the important cards. Um, Crimson says, hey, helping me out too, plus you deserve it. Aw, thanks, Crimson. I would much rather have Negate main deck. I think Negate's a much better main deck card, because Negate against Mono Blue uh, helps, like, your Ritual of Set Resolve kind of thing, or against Mono Red, you counter your the Wizard's Lightning or whatever. Negate's a much better main deck card than Disdainful Stroke. But that's why I don't even have Disdainful Stroke in the deck at all, because I, I had it in the deck over, like, some Duresses and Negates. You know, I, I used to play, like, two Disdainful Stroke, and then kind of how the games played out, it, like, the Disdainful Strokes were just getting stuck in my hand. It was just not a card I, I kind of wanted at all. So that's why I don't have any in the 75, even. Wow, this is really unlucky. Quite unlucky. All right, we're in there. So what's our opponent doing? They're like blue-red control. Like, are they... Are they just like a Niv-Mizzet control deck? <laughs> uh, besides that... I I would really recommend playing the, the all the Ritual sets instead of Cry of the Carnarium. I think Cry of the Carnarium is basically only really good against like the the white go white strategies whether it's mono white aggro or green white tokens um ritual of soot is just real like it's much much better against not only sultai with like um wow growth walker and, and all the cards that sultai has and how J light ranger can get bigger and that kind of stuff but also against mono blue uh because of tempest Gin and, and larger terramanders like ritual of soot's really important there um and even against like red, if they have a, a bigger steamkin or ch or chain whirler, I do think ritual 
ritual so it's just really important like, especially if, if you're going all the way to play a moment of craving main like that's good enough for a danto vanguard it's, it's basically a danto vanguard's like see, like the only singular card you really want cry of the carnarium over ritual so that the four mana is not not that bad Those are the two things that, that I, I wouldn't recommend kind of changing, but don't mind the rest. All right, so they're countering a bunch of stuff. I don't want Vivian to get countered, but I think I'm going to try the Vivian here because we have the chance to actually get rid of the Escanta. And hopefully they don't have another counter spell. Mm, they did. I think it was worth it. I think it was worth the risk to just to try to get rid of the search rest canto. <laughs> no problem. Yeah, no problem. Um, I I do really like my seventy five a whole lot though. Um, and you know, have have played it a lot. The the RAL in the sideboard that we just tried out today, that's that's my least favorite of it, but but even like the 60, I've played that 60 a ton, and I think it works really well. Kind of shows, this is going to be like the Strength of Ascanta, even though we have a bunch of more cards uh, with the Strength of Ascanta, this is going to be difficult to get through. Don't really know what our opponent's doing to like win the game yet. Yeah. Yeah, Crimson, I can battle you after this league. Man, you haven't been able to play Magic in a couple months? Dang. So yeah, after this league, I'll I should have time. For a match or two. Yeah, our opponent's got to have, especially Niv. They got to be a, a Niv Mizzet deck. Ral is likely also. But do they have anything else for threats besides Niv and Ral? Oh, maybe they're a, just a fight with fire explosion deck? Where they can, like, trying to kick fight with fire and, and copy it with expansion? That could be it as well. There's Ral. What are we doing after sideboarding? Are we bringing in Cinder Vines in this matchup? What do y'all think of like Cin What do y'all think of Cinder Vines in this matchup? If like Ral is at Viceroy and Niv Mizzet are their main ways to win, and they're playing a bunch of instant sorceries. I've flown on Gale Force winds. Beating you will be a breeze. Creature plus supercharged energy equals. Definitely bring in Carnage Tyrant. Definitely don't think we're winning this, but we're still playing. Ooh, let's see what we got. See more of their deck and everything. Just 
Pakistani. Um, <laughs> Discord for Smack Talk. <laughs> That may take a little too long to get set up and everything. I'm going. I'm going to the movies tonight. I'm doing. Um, I'm streaming. This is my last league today. I'm streaming from. I was on at noon today, so I'm going from noon to seven today instead of three to ten, like normal. Uh, then I'm going to the movies afterwards. Here tonight, gonna go see the Captain Marvel movie. They so got rid of the shock. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, just pause the stream. You can still smack talk and chat. Perfect. Yeah, our opponent is playing very slow. Alright, new game. So I'm going to be taking out Urza's Ruinous Blast, uh, especially bringing in all these non-legendary stuff. We can take out this coil. Take out the coil. Thank you, deck. Um, Druidic Vow doesn't seem too good when we're struggling resolving things. Um, unlike other control decks, usually against other control decks, I'll take out Lyra. But unlike other control decks, like it's kind of more difficult for them to deal with Lyra. Like they have, you know, they had fight with fire, but um, you know, with them just using burn spells, I like the bigger bodies more. So actually, I'm going to cut Druidic Vows here. Um, well, then maybe Shauna. No, I should probably just trim down on the fives. And, and everything. Maybe I still do just cut Lyra. Or Domri. When we reduce creature count. Mm -hmm. Should probably just have Domri in though, because if it resolves, we just tick up in, into ultimate. Lyra can fight Niv Mizzet too, which is important. I'm gonna take out Ashana. Weatherlight is a card I've always played in this deck and just took it out for the Domri for this league. Um, but for board the Weatherlight, I don't think is a strong enough card for standard. Like how it costs two mana and, and everything. I, I don't think board the, the Weatherlight's very good. If it could get a land. I would like it a lot more. Um, the problem with like board the weatherlight and weatherlight uh, are that we're just the last few sets have not been adding to the legendary card pool uh, to help them out. All right, this is a, certainly a good hand, having Captain Lannery Storm on turn two attacking. That's what we want. That's how we, this is how we won our game three last time. Like, I kind of want to make a deck that's just like Naya aggro with more like Lannery Storm, Tajik, um, Gruel Spellbreaker, like that, those kind of like three drops. Shalai in there too, so we can get the Shalai Tajik combo, but like try to actually go for the Tajik Shalai combo more. So, like, because getting these things down so early is so good.
So I'm going to have like Tajik plus Cinder Vines. I didn't do this. I know we missed a point of damage by not casting this pre-combat, um, but pre-combat they still had um, their two mana where they could have like negate for this. Um, also, I wanted the Chijik to be able to uh, uh, be able to mentor onto the Lannery Storm. Yeah, if you yes, with Lazav you could get a second Shalai in play. Uh, you know, with Lazav and Shalai, and then yes, everything has hexproof, and they can't target anything, including you or any of your stuff. That'd be pretty great. They're in a rough spot, down to eleven already. Cinder Vines is out. I think we got this game. This Captain Lannery Storm has just been insane. The mana it's given us and everything. It has just been so good. Turn two Captain Lannery Storm that doesn't die and just get it's gotten us so many treasures. And it's dealt so much damage. No one knows the wilds like I do. Squee! I don't have two red. Squee! Alright, hey King Toll. Haven't missed too much. No, there's not Crimson. Well, let's see what the wind blows in. No, there's... I can see, like, like bits-wise... Um... I can't I can't see like by bits how many how many bits I've earned per person, but not like any other donations or anything. There's like a bit a bits later board. Enigma Drake, huh? I thought I thought I heard Hawkeye hissing or something, but he's he's just lying back there up, up on top of the couch by the window. Thought I heard him hissing. All right, so Enigma Drake, huh? Want lava coil for that? Or run it back? I'm probably just run it back. <laughs> I don't even know what a five hundred one C is. What's a 501c? Uh, it's a non non-profit? Okay. All right, so yesterday we lost to two control decks. We were 0-2 against control decks. We'll see if we can actually pick up a win against control here. 
Um, this one's a, you know, a different one with Is It Control. We lost to Esper and Soltai Control yesterday. Uh, do I have everything done with Grixis Discard to have it go up on YouTube? Yes, I do. Let's hit that publish button. Yeah. Yeah, later on this week. Yep, Crimson. Absolutely. I'm free anytime except for like the 3 to 7. Ooh, a little slow, a little slow. But we have good mana. Um, I think I'm in there. We're just, you know, hopefully we draw spells. And not lands. Not lands deck. Oh yeah, yeah. After the stream works perfectly fine. Two worst draws we could have. Uh, two lands there. You know, really wanted to fill our curve with something on on two. Expecting opponents to have shock, how they lead with mountain. Usually whenever whenever this deck leads with basic mountain, that, that's telling you, hey, I have shock. Um, but we can't do anything about it. A third land? I mean, if I if I knew I was drawing three lands in a row, I would not be keeping this hand. Okay, well we get to resolve Karn. I don't know why our opponent just main phase that. Until you have lived as a statue, do not talk to me of pigeons. That's kind of an odd main phase. We finally drew a spell, the Aurelia. Are you certain of your decision? Basically, we do not want our opponent to slam down Niv. You know, we don't have an answer to Niv. <clears throat> right now, and you know, I'm digging for like a, a Vivian, digging to try to find something, but we do not want our opponent just to slam down Niv. Uh, that's that's how we lose. I really hope they don't. Okay, good. No, no slam down Niv. Plus, we drew a Vivian. Um, considering going and getting Grand Warlord Rada. Curious choice. Probably eats another shock. Keep getting those manas. But maybe they're just waiting to fire we cannonade away these two. <laughs> I know TG eats stuff. The teamer decks don't usually play Nexus, though. Your patience is rewarded. Oh, that's true. Fire Cannon does not kill Lannery. Right. We have learned that one.
I could try to resolve Vivian here, but we'll just go with Tajik. So that's just gonna just kill Tajik. So I have another Vivian over here under Karn. Next turn I can try double Vivian. Is this, this may be too hasty to try double Vivian, but it looks like they don't even have a counter spell for the first Vivian, picking it up. So Tajik, uh, Tajik prevents the combat damage to your other creatures. So with Tajik on the battlefield, uh, the fiery cannonade did not deal damage to Shauna. All right, we had Jared earlier was our 10th sub of the day. That means we're, Cracking open a pack for getting to 10 subs. Let's go over to M19. We got Ixalan earlier. What do we got? A mythic wild card. That's a good pack. That's a good pack. Best pack possible. Mythic wild card. Especially at this, this point. I have a lot of rare wild cards. Hey, Jelly with the cheers. Mythic wild card. That's a great pack. That's some crimson luck right there. That's what that is. Well, who knows, Crimson? If this if this whole stream thing doesn't work out, maybe I'll have to take you up on that. Um. I think we're gonna have to mull again. Man, I, I wanna keep this. You know, I really like this curve, but two lands on the play. On the draw, I would probably keep this, but on the play, it'll be tough. Let's get something to do before turn five. Hey, what's up, Eddie? Stream's going great. Had a good, successful stream day. Larry Storm, get in there. Thank you. So far, a 3-2, a 4-2, a 5-0, and now we're currently 3-0, running back the Nia Legends. So yeah, we got Mono White, but good news is we're on the play, and we're gonna have Turn 4 Tristani on the play, uh, thanks to the help of Captain Larry Storm. So hoping Tristani uh, gets this one for us. The question is, do I attack with Lannery Storm or not? I think I do. I think I make it, I want to keep pressuring their life total, make it harder for them to pay for life for the vanguards. Um, I'm, I'm thinking about sacking the token just to deal another point of damage to him, honestly. Nah. Because even though next turn we're just probably single spelling with Vivian, I want a, a few, like the turn after Vivian we're probably going to be double spelling and maybe you want that. So I think we got this. They could have like Conclave Tribunal for Tristani, but then we have Vivian to destroy the Conclave Tribunal. 
Yeah, it looks like they have Tribunal. So yeah, this game looks great for us. Hey, Baloney Pony. Yeah. Thanks. I'm, I'm excited to go see the movie tonight. Excited to go to the movie theater. Haven't gone to a movie theater in a really long time, but I'm going to eat a whole lot of popcorn. Um, let's crack this thing. Then tapped out. Would you like to see what's left of Scala? <laughs> Get that out of here. Um, I'm watching the the Captain Marvel movie. Yeah, you can post your email. If you want to. Um, but of course, Crimson, you can, you can always do whatever. <laughs> we watch Hellboy or Shazam. <laughs> Shazam. All right, Blast is awesome. Uh, Clarions are awesome. Coil is awesome. I could have Spyglass for Vanguard. Vanguard can be a tough card for me. If we get rid of... Domri, Karn. Usually, Landry Storm doesn't do that much, but I mean that tre you can kind of see like how important that treasure is uh, in our deck. Uh, Druidic Vow. That one unfortunately has to come out here. Vivian's only good at blowing up tribunals, but Urza's Ruinous Blast does that. All right, here we go. Um, whatever you want of what I would expect you to do. I wouldn't expect that to happen. No white mana. How many white sources do we have in this deck? I want to keep this. Um, four, five, six, seven, eight. Twelve, fifteen. Fifteen white sources. Clarion's so good, though, and so is Coil. Coil, Clarion are so good. Let's try it. We're on the draw. We're up a game. Let's draw white sources. Not white cards. Deck. Ooh, whoops. Played the wrong one. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, the Gruel Duels... Do look really similar. I mean, that's that's kind of all of them. But yeah, they they both have yeah they just kind of glancing at them. They look alike, a lot alike. The double Adanto Vanguard is a wonderful start for the opponent. All right, you got this one. Kept a risk. Did not pan out. Yeah, Vanguard's a good magic card. It is better than no magic cards. Is what I had. That's better than Lava Coil. I had coils I could play. That's better than Coil. Alright, keeping the three different colors. And Hope Shalai and Aurelia play some good defense for us. Crimson, where are you located at? There's Vanguard. Opponents had Vanguard on turn two every game. Ah, St. Louis.
So, Aurelia... Hmm. Aurelia gives Amara a mentor. Or sorry, not, not gives it a mentor, but... Aurelia gives... Like, if we put the... the Tri the trigger on uh, Amara gives sorry uh, gives Amara vigilance, and so Amara having vigilance um, means that it doesn't tap and get a creature for us. Basically, but I can trade Amara for the the night token. Is that a trade I want to make? Because, like, later on when this thing's a 4-3, Amara does not trade with the token. I don't really want to make that trade. And they have a tribunal. Oh, venerate Luxodon. All right. Just kind of a, a ridiculous turn. Guess I should have traded. Um, I don't really have anything good to do here. I should have attacked with Amara last turn as just a 2-2 two -two and not put the, the trigger on it. I'm basically just throwing away the Amara to get a, a life linker now as a blocker. And also being, being able to play Rada plus Coil. I really wish I would have just attacked with the Amara last turn. That was a 2 1. They're trying to baffling in my Aurelia. Now they're trying to baffling in the Rada. There you go. I mean, I, I kind of need to keep my Rada alive so that I can potentially play Lyra next turn. I have to, like, top deck a Lyra and be able to play it. But I can't... I can't keep it alive. I mean, might as well block the... The 4-2 instead of the 4-4. Four four. This is 14... And Lyra's like my only hope, but Arada's gonna die now. I wanted to be able to chump block with like that lifeline token for the removal spell. 
Turn three history, turn four history, plus venerated Luxodon. It's too strong. No Urza's Ruinous Blast for us. Urza's Ruinous Blast is our best card against this mono white deck. No blast for us. Besides Lyra. Lyra and, and the blast, but really the blast ends the game every single time. Ever casting Urza's Ruinous Blast, the game's over, but we didn't get to. All right, we are three and one. We had a loss to give. We're still in it. This is getting pretty laggy here. I should probably do a reset. Yeah, this is really laggy. Let's do a quick reset. Been on for six and a half hours. Ugh. Tough game. But we hadn't picked up a loss in a while. I think until like the 5 0, the 3 0. We were due for a loss. That's okay. All right, so remember this is our last league tonight. Um, doing the earlier stream today from three to ten, or sorry, from noon to seven instead of three to ten like all the other days. Um, if you're kind of new here in the channel, I this is what I do each and every day. You can find me from three to ten Eastern time streaming a fun standard decks as you can tell here. Like that's what I like to do. We play some standard brews here. Thursday, um, yeah, then we're gonna have we're gonna be battling one one v one, me versus Crimson after this league. Um, Thursday, we'll be doing a 12-hour stream because we got to our quip goal of having 10 people buy some toothbrushes. I'll try this out. Thanks, After Wizard. Um, and, uh, and so we're restarting that. We have another 10 quip referrals. Uh, <clears throat> we're going to be doing another 12-hour stream. If you place an order through Quip or Movement, uh, you do get a free donation deck. The reason why we're playing Naya Legends here right now is because a person that purchased a toothbrush from Quip yesterday wanted to see some more Naya Legends. So that's why we got it here. Um, and so, you know, Quip is a... Uh, you know, makes... Um, toothbrushes, and then Movement makes awesome watches and uh, sunglasses. So if you need to up your watch game, Sarah making a purchase through movement there. And uh, if you're watching this later on YouTube, you can find the referral link down below for both of those. With, with movement, if you go through my referral link, also use the coupon code ToddStevensMTG to get 15% off your purchase. <laughs> yeah, the bot needs to take a little bit of time to refresh. Alright, gonna play Karn. Karn is really good at getting at finding you lands. I know Domri is like an automatic mana for next turn. But I do like hitting the, the land drops. So they use like a couple burn spells to kill the Domri. You know, could it could have been a little more rough for us. It is best if you stop. All right, so I'm gonna go Vivian kill Crackling Drake next turn. Especially, be so prepared. yeah, Domri could have just been next dead. Time. Hmm. Well, they get to kill Vivian, but I still want Crackling Drake out of here. Storm Tamer and Terramander don't kill you nearly as fast. Nothing. I'll be back, just like before. Hmm. 
have a lot of threats. Guess I'm going to go Tristani and next turn Druidic Vow. I hope I hope I draw a land here so I get to Vow for five. Because, you know, five, five hits Lyra and Vivian. A couple important cards. Really, we just want to draw Ur Urza's Ruinous Blast. Urza's Ruinous Blast would be... The best possible draw. Oh, never mind. We can't even can't even cast either of those. Um. That's ten, eleven. I can only gain three life right now. Yeah, I think I can only gain three life. And go to 11, but my opponent has 11. That was a really good Lava Coil. Real good combination of threats, spells, lands. Good hand for the opponent. Let's get this other Blast in here. Another Lyra. Shalai. Shalai's not so good. Doesn't... Definitely the Coils. Shalai doesn't block their things too well. Squee doesn't matter. Um... I'm going to take out Tristani. Vladimus with the resub for the sixth month. Welcome back, Vladimus. Thank you so much for that resub there. All right, so number 11. Yeah, unfortunately, in this specific matchup, Squee isn't doing a whole lot for us. Rada just doesn't match up against four power things either. I guess I'm playing Shalai, though. Maybe I'm not playing Shalai. Yeah, maybe we're not. No, I'm going to play Shalai. I'm going to not play Domri. Problem is Clarion's Clarion is just not very reliable. And it's more likely Clarion kills my own things than their things, unfortunately. So we're going down to 16, but we have turn two to Jeek. Aw, oh, thanks, Vladimus. We have 628 viewers right now, and it's six when we've been streaming for exactly six hours and 28 minutes. Coincidence? Probably not. All right, so much for that turn to Tajik thing. So much for that one. Our turn five is going to be good. At least. We want a land or a four mana or less card. <laughs> Not another five mana card. Uh, it's like the only thing we don't want to draw is a five mana card. I mean, we do have a good amount of five mana cards in the deck, but it's not like, you know, it's not like four out of six cards are five mana cards. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, this is the last deck for today. I was on early early stream today. I uh, we uh, started at noon. Uh, I was on three hours early today because I'm going to go see the Captain Marvel movie. Um... I am going to be doing a, a 1v1 match versus uh, Crimson later on, Crimson Coven, right after this. So that'll be a fun 1v1 challenge. Well, 
What a what a great match. What a great game. What a great game. Uh, any way to build a good budget version of Esper on Moto? I don't have many mythics. Um, do they have another spell? Like Esper control. So Teferi, Teferi is just basically like the one thing you kind of need in Esper, um, mythic wise. You don't need any other mythics. But that's that's the one you kind of need. Um, wow, not a single other spell. All right, we'll see if this works. All they need is just one more spell again. Popcorn and pickles? Nah, that doesn't sound like a good combination. Uh, they drew a spell. Well, if they attack, we lose. Maybe they won't attack. Yep. Found a lightning strike. Never did get that fifth land. What a disappointing game there. What is this? Ooh, a mythic? Ooh, emergency powers. That's still not bad. Yeah, especially that game. I, I took out the two Tristanis and took out the Huatli. So I, I boarded out three five drops. I did board in one. I did board in two five drops. I, I boarded in an extra Lyra and an extra Blast. So we were down one five drop um, from normal, but we just drew we just drew five of these and four lands. Oh, was... That was rough. Um, if you if you can't get uh, if you can't get to fairy for Esper control, maybe you go like patient rebuilding. Um, patient rebuilding is a card that's continual card advantage. Um, you know, if you need to go like real budget. Uh, but I, I don't think you need any other mythics for Esper Control besides Teferi. Man, we were doing so good in this league to start with. You know, we were 3-0, it was doing really good. And, man, what a, what a disappointing last game that was. But, oh well. Um, you know, stuff happens. So, uh, that was Nia Legends for today. Um, if you're watching this one later on on YouTube, one, thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. We are getting close to the 2,000 sub subscriber mark on YouTube. Let me see what it says where we are at currently. 1840. All right, 1840. So we're getting there. Um, and it's about 160 away. And then once we get that, we'll be doing another 12-hour stream on top of our 12-hour stream um, on Thursday. So, all right. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you for